Next, rather finally, we are going to focus on the incident handling. It is another part of crime analysis. We'll try to see what it is. The response of an individual or an organization against a cyber attack is referred to as an incident handling process. For a successful incident handling, the team should take a coordinated and organized approach towards any incident that had happened. An organized and careful reaction to an incident can mean the difference between the complete recovery and the total disaster. An essential component of computer security is the incident handling mechanism. Establishing a successful incident response plan requires significant planning and availability of resources since performing incident response mechanism is effective, a very, very complex undertaking. Let us seize the life cycle of incident handling. The security incident handling model generally follows a five-stage process, namely preparation and planning, detection and analysis, containment, eradication and recover, finally post-incidence and follow-up. Preparation and planning. It involves the preparation of the process for detecting and reaction to security incidents happened in the organization. Next, detection and analysis. It involves the assessments and identification of potential security breaches. We have elaborately discussed about the vulnerability analysis and the risk management strategies in our previous sections. Next comes the containment. It ensures that the impact of the security abuse on the organization is minimized. Next is the eradication and recover. It eliminates the causes of security attacks and the plans for the improvement in network defenses to counter any security vulnerability. Next, it is followed by post incidents and follow-up. This involves the preparation of report and analysis of the progress of detecting and reacting to security incidents. A well-defined security incident handling plan is very vital for the organization for the efficient and effective handling of security incidents, minimizing the impact and the damage and finally rapidly restoring the operations of a computer system. The major guidelines for security incident handling are given here. First of all, ensure that the required resources are available to deal with the incidents including manpower and technology. Next, ensure that all responsible parties have clear understanding about the tasks they should perform during the incident by following predefined set of procedures. Next, ensure that the response is systematic and efficient and there is a prompt recovery for the compromised system. Next comes this, ensure that the response activities are recognized and coordinated. Next, minimize the possible impact of the incident in terms of information leakage, corruption and system disruption, etc. Share the experience in incident response within the organization. Next, prevent further attacks and damages. Finally, deal with related legal issues. So, the awareness on the legal issues are very, very important to handle uh, the security situations in any organization. Now, let's focus on some of the elements of the incident analysis in computer security. Performing the initial analysis and validation is a challenging task, as we said earlier. Following are the elements used for making the incident analysis easier and more effective. First, Profile the networks and systems. Second, understand the normal behavior. Third, create a log retention policy. Fourth, perform event correlation. Fifth, keep all host clocks synchronized. Sixth, maintain and use knowledge base of information. Seventh, use internet search engines for research. Eighth, run packet sniffers to collect additional data. Eighth, 9. Filter the data. 10. Seek the assistance from others. Now, we all realize the importance of the incident handling. 
the most important thing in that is incident documentation let's discuss that now the incident response team should maintain records about the status of the incidents along with other pertinent information using an application or a database such as an issue tracking system one can help to ensure that incidents are handled and resolved in a timely manner the issue tracking system should contain the information on the following one the current status of the incident whether it is new progressed or forwarded for investigation second a detail the summary of the incident along with the indicator related to it third identification of interrelated incidents four actions taken against the incidents by the incident handlers along with their components fifth application of chain of custody if necessary sixth identification of assessment impact on the incident seventh contact information of other parties such as the system owners or the system administrators involved in the incident then eighth evidence list gathered during the incident investigation and the ninth one the necessary steps to be taken such as rebuilding the host upgrading an application from the incident so the incident response team should safeguard ultimately the incident data and restrict the access to it because it often contains sensitive information incident communications like emails and documents shared across networks should be encrypted or otherwise they must be protected so that only authorized personnel can read them for example the authentication mechanisms can be applied we dealt a separate week on that incident notification is the next important phase after the incident analysis the incident response team needs to notify the appropriate in individuals so that all who need to be involved will play their roles properly so incident response policies should include provisions concerning the incident reporting at a minimum level what must be reported and to whom it should be reported and at what time it should be reported the exact reporting requirements vary among the organizations but parties um, that are typically notified include the head of the information security local information security officer other incident response teams within the organization external incident response teams the system owner the human resources the public affairs the legal department and the cert the computer emergency and response team and finally the law enforcement agencies of course there are some incident handling solutions available some of the solutions for handling incidents are summarized here plan the incident coordination with the external parties before the incident occurs consult with the legal department before initiating any coordination efforts perform incident information sharing throughout the incident response life cycle attempt to automate as much of the information sharing process as possible balance the benefits of information sharing with the drawbacks of sharing sensitive information finally share as much of the appropriate incident information as possible with other organization so as to safeguard them or so as to take some proactive measures by the other organizations conclusion this module clearly presented the role of crime signatures in identifying the criminals the stylometry analysis the importance of incident handling mechanisms and finally some of the solutions available to handle the computer security issues Thank you learners we'll be meeting in the next week module soon